Hello, this is the beginning of the moving vlog. As you can see, I'm moving. Um, things are not going well. I realized, listen, you can't see me. I realized I got, I have one suitcase, I have one mini suitcase, and I have like a couple Ikea bags, and I've discovered that that is not nearly enough. Um, my pants, in here this is all my pants um before you say something listen i have too many pants because none of my pants fit me and so i have to keep all of my pants because i'll have like a pair of black jeans that are really cool but they don't fit me so i can make them look good in a photo but if i'm going somewhere people are going to know that i look stupid so basically just listen so and then i have one that like they're not as cool but they look better on me you know what i mean I just say I have a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, we're moving. I'm gonna check back in later. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. we have to be gone, so yeah. Also, look at these pants. I got them, they, they were sent to me as a gift and they're really cute and they also have pockets. Okay, let's go. Now starts uh, maybe a little montage of me packing. Okay, so we're in the middle of moving right now. This is my room. She doesn't look amazing. Um, but I feel like I own like nothing, but also I own so much stuff. Like basically, so I'm homeless for three days. I'm moving all my stuff into my friend's house and I'm gonna stay at my other friend's house for three days. And then after that, I'm moving all my stuff into another friend's house where I'm gonna stay because they're away for a while. Um, so this is a really tragic um, series of events. Because um, basically, oh my god, did I tell you? I was looking for an apartment. I saw this really cute apartment, right? Like yesterday. And I go to see it. It's like not super expensive. It's in a good location. It looks really cute. It has like those exposed wood beams and stuff. And I go to see it and I go last strategically so I can talk to the girl and make my case and whatever. And I went and I was like, hey, listen, like I don't have all those same French papers because I just got here like a year ago. So I don't have like last year's tax stuff, but like I swear to God, I have everything else. Like I, I'm gonna pay the rent. Is there any way that you can help me out? And she was like, yeah, totally. Listen, like my mom owns the apartment. Like I'll see what I can do. I'll talk to my mom. I can make a case for you. Um, basically we just wanna rent the place as soon as possible. So if you're willing to like pay tonight, you can get the keys tonight. And I was like, amazing, left and I was like, Wow, this is great. She texts me and she's like, hey, so I talked to my mom. Um, it's totally no problem. The only thing is you'll just have to pay the rent for the whole year up front. She's writing like the math and it's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds plus hundreds. Of, and it's adding up to like over 10,000 euros. And I was like, like, I was like, I don't want to say I'm like, I don't have the money because then like, she's not going to give me the apartment anyways. But I was like, 10,000. That's a lot of money. Are you even allowed to like transfer that much money to somebody at once? I don't think so. I feel like I'd have to like go to, and so I was like, maybe we can do six months. She said yes to six months. This is all within like an hour of seeing the place that we're like texting back and forth. Um, and I'm still like in the area. I'm like at a coffee shop right next door so I can like be there in a second. And I was like, okay, yeah, absolutely. Like if we sign the contract tonight, I will transfer you six months of rent plus the security deposit which is two months worth of rent so eight months worth of rent which is already like over well over five thousand dollars like nearing ten thousand dollars um which i was like i'm gonna borrow money from my friend anyways and her all of my papers she already had my paper version of my papers before and then she texted me and she was like hey fiona i'm really sorry um but somebody else came to view the apartment just now and they already put the payment down for the whole thing so i'm sorry that the apartment's gone and i was like i just like i'm so it's crazy it's crazy also like i really wanted that apartment i really liked it and like i mean okay it was like it wasn't the best apartment ever and it, the ceilings were very low. Like I was hitting my head on the ceiling, but it was like one of the slanted ceilings. So like when you're over on the tall side, it's like 
just above my head, but then it goes like really low. But I was like, whatever, it's cute. It was in a good neighborhood. It was on the sixth floor with no elevator, which like, but still, I was like, I was into it. Uh, but then I didn't get it. And so now, so that's the story of why I'm staying in my friend's house. Um, so now I'm gonna, um, we basically packed everything. Everything else that is here is like belonging to the apartment because we rented it furnished and it has like a ton of furniture. Um, so I'm gonna clean now and maybe make a snack. And then we're out of here forever. At 6 p.m., the lady's coming, she's taking her keys, and we're on. Also, as we've been moving, the guy that works downstairs, like the like guardian, building guardian, there's two people, it's a couple. The lady, super nice, but I never see her. The guy is absolute, like, he's so mean, and he hates me with a passion. He's hated me ever since he like set eyes on me. I think he hated me initially because I didn't really speak French very well, but like, yeah, he hates me. Every time I have to get a package from him, he's so mean to me. And he was like getting mad at us because we were like leaving some stuff on the street for free, like nice stuff, like clothes and boots and some plants. Um, Cause like, that's what a lot of people do here. And I'm like, I love when people leave stuff on the street for free. It gets taken within like 10 minutes. So I was like, we left some stuff for free. And then he was like getting mad at us, yelling at us in French, being like, oh, you can't leave this here. Is this your stuff? Like, no, this is not a garbage can. Anyways, sorry to be angry. He's just, I hate him. I hate him so much. And I've tried this entire year that we've been here. I've tried so hard to be nice to him. Every single time I see him, I'm like, oh, bonjour. And I hold the door for him and I smile at him. Nothing. He's never once cracked a smile at me. Never. He has this like permanent frown on his face. And like two weeks ago, we subletted an apartment. Sorry, I'm really, I'm really rambling here. I, I might cut myself off eventually. Um, but like two weeks ago, I, we subletted our apartment for a couple weeks. And then we came back and he, I came to get my packages and he was like, you don't have any packages here. You don't live here anymore. You're not allowed to order packages somewhere you don't live. And I was like, excuse me, I was gone for two weeks. Like, calm down, man. He hates me, he hates me so much. And then he told me after that, I spent so much work trying to figure out what he was saying to me in French. He was telling me, no packages for August. We're on vacation in August. There's no packages possible. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, I don't really know what to do about my like packages for work, but like, okay. And I was like, got it, understand, no packages for August. There's not no packages for August. There's just a new guy that was replacing him for August, which by the way, he was a lot nicer. And I liked that guy a lot better. And I was like, this guy, I just hate this guy. Anyways, let's not talk about this, this annoying man that I hate. Um, now that I've talked for seven minutes. Um, but yeah, we're cleaning. Here she is, she's getting really empty. Um, so. Yeah, onwards with the cleaning. Thank you. Thanks for listening to my story. I'm cleaning with toilet paper because um, I don't think we have any paper towels. Uh, but we do have toilet paper. And it's the pink toilet paper because pink toilet paper is the cheapest toilet paper in Paris. Okay, well, we just did our, our walkthrough with our um, landlord lady. This is the remnants of our free stuff we left on the street. I don't know if I said we left a bunch of stuff for free on the street, 
that we couldn't take with us and there was like a giant pile of clothing um, and like some craft stuff some random home things um, but like basically all of it got taken so that's great um, there's also like some shoes so yeah now we're now we're done Maddie just took an uber to one friend's house and I am walking to another friend's house with our little suitcases because we're homeless now um, so that's nice because you know I didn't have 10,000 euros to pay at 10 minutes notice for an apartment to rent so you know that's uh, Vie. I have like three pairs of pants and my laptop and all my filming stuff and a half-eaten chocolate croissant and that's about everything I have with me. Um, so I think I'm going to go to a little cafe and I'm going to wash my friend's house. Um, it's been great. I Honestly, one of my friends was like, do you miss or are you sad that you're leaving your apartment? And I was like, honestly, no. Like I'm kind of I was getting really sick of the cat shrine and also I really hate the guy that works for the building downstairs who is so mean to me all the time. So as much as it's unfortunate that I'm homeless now, um, maybe it's for the best. So onwards.